I use my bike as my primary vehicle and I consider myself pretty fortunate because it brings me a whole bunch of joy. And I work on the east side of town because I work in industry and that's where the industry traditionally is in any city. But the sun's out, it's beautiful, the neighborhoods are out. And after a long hard winter, very wet winter, I thought it would be a real fun time to get outside and take the long way home and explore a little bit of Erie's industrial part and the waterfront. So straight up ahead, we'll T-bone into the Erie Bayfront Bikeway, which we'll take down to the waterfront. And it might be worth mentioning that the part of town I work in, which is the industrial side of town, is also the oldest side of town. It is also the, uh, perhaps the poorest side of town because it's the oldest, it's the most rundown, I guess is what I'm trying to tell you. Not necessarily this part right here, but you know. Now that bridge over there is where I normally cross, the one back behind me. I Hopefully it can be seen there. But here is the Bayfront and the Bayfront bikeway is just on the other side, which we will catch right over here. Bayfront Bikeway travels from Interstate 90, which is the main east-west interstate in Erie. Cuts right through, probably goes across the country, I don't know. So it starts at Penn State Barron up on 90, and it travels down to the waterfront and to the west. That's a big boy there. It's worth noting that the neighborhood I work on is totally cut off by these train tracks and this parkway here. And usually this parkway is full of glass. Down on the other side, oh, it's us. This is dangerous as all. That was pretty dangerous. So down along here is the um, residential part of the Lower East Side. And we're gonna scoot down this path just straight, and then we'll pick back up at the waterfront. How's that? Okay? Okay. So down at the end of the strip, we're just coming up to the, uh, the, the hook. We're gonna hook a left and follow along the waterfront. Here you can see that uh, Pennsylvania Bicycle Route Z, I believe we will be following. I've never, I don't, I've never even looked to see where it goes. Uh, I think it's 6th Street, which is, I, I don't know where it goes. I'm going to be honest with you. But, th but there it is. And the temperature drop is very noticeable about a block away from the water. If you're, if you live in a landlocked part of the country or world, uh, you may not know these things. I'm here to help. If you go down the road there, you will go to the waterfront, the slip where we uh, had the coffee outside. I'll, I'll link to that video right here. 
No city's waterfront is co complete without composting because the city will come and pick up your leaf scraps and yard waste, if you can call it waste. And then they'll go and dump big piles of it, dump truck loads in the, in the parks. And all the immigrants always go and fill up their buckets and make beautiful gardens. And I'm only saying this because I've seen it. The waterfront would also not be complete without a water treatment plant. And a very, the very brutalist architecture of the plant is great. If you've ever seen the Balden Bankrupt show, he shows some brutalist Soviet architecture, which is fun. Architecture, pardon me. On today's adventure, I'm riding what might be a 1992 Schwinn Crosscut that I have not made a video about before, but I will in the very near future. One of my favorite bikes. You see the brutalist architecture. Here's an interesting place. As you know, it was a rust belt place. We've got rail because we had so much uh, industry here. We have that nice man landscaping. We also have uh, obviously the waterfront and the, the lake. We have a shipbuilder up ahead. There we go. Hey, so this is the end of the video, but I'm gonna tell you right here in the middle of the video that I got that thing now. Where if you wanted to leave me a tip, like they call it, super thanks, you could do that. I'm not gonna beat you over the head with it, but I'll just let you know it's there if that's something that you feel compelled to do. And right now, as I'm talking to you right now, uh, I'm sold out of coffee, but I got an order in. Hey friends, as an aside to the aside, I am not sold out of coffee. I'm drinking it right now. My shop is fully stocked. Thanks a bunch. And I'm working on some other neat stuff. So you can check it out right here on the YouTube shop or joshgon.com. Okay, now, now go back and see the middle of the video so that you can get to the end of this part of the video. I suppose we'd probably better go have a quick peek at the boat yard. How about right here? So that's the ship builder or uh, dry dock. We had a submarine from Cleveland, World War II US submarine from Cleveland in the dry dock over here. The place I work for did some work on it and made some pipes, pipe spools for it. That was cool. I didn't get a chance to go on though. I wish I did. The Pathfinder, or Pathfinder, the Interlake Steamship Company. I did get to go on one of those things one time. I had d filling in for a truck driver and I was delivering some pipe spools and they said, bring it up on deck, bring it in here. It was very, very cool. I wish I could have filmed that. Don John Shipbuilding and Repair. I'm gonna go ahead and guess about four of you is gonna watch this, but that's okay. I can't build a bike every week. I, I, just, I just can't do that. My life does not allow for that. So this is something I always wanted to do. And really the impetus for Erie Bicycle, like kind of like a tour, tourist guide by bicycle. I would also like to tell you about a bunch of, like five reasons why Erie is a bicycle city. Maybe we'll get to that. I believe that might be the Russian Orthodox Church up there. Pretty neat. Hopefully you can see it with the sun behind it though. The shipyard. More rail, of course whatever you're shipping in and out, you gotta be able to move it. I don't think we do that though. Missed opportunity perhaps. This stack up ahead, this was a power plant at one time. That building houses the local library, the main branch, and the museum, the Erie Maritime Museum. We're gonna ride the trail back behind the library and we'll see if the Brig Niagara is back there. 
which I'm told is actually not the brig. When I was small, there was just the, the, the keel was left over and it was over there where the public could see it. And then they rebuilt this ship, this old time of sailing ship. And this Brig Niagara is, is what, uh, what we've got now based on that piece of keel. And there's a lake barge of some sort. Where's the, oh, there it is. But that is the, oh, here, the flagship Niagara. Heidi Struble, I don't think you watch these anymore, but I'm thinking of you right now. I'm gonna tell you that the flagship Niagara, uh, the restored flagship of Captain Oliver Hazard Perry in the Battle of Lake Erie, September 10th, 1813. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, yeah, there it is, undercover. You can go on it if you visit Erie. You can go inside of here in the front and I'm sure get a pass and take a little tour. You might even be able to take a ride on it. I don't know. This is a fun thing. Watch your head. Whoa. So while Erie used to be manufacturing, now it's tourism. That seems to probably be popular. So we've got this Oliver's something or other, probably based on Oliver Hazard Perry, but break to tell you how cool that thing is. Yeah, because there's this picture up there. This is the place to be. They put bands here and they get people. Uh, Erie's a big drinking town, big drinking town. So in the, in the summertime, everybody's here. It's nice, don't get me wrong, but I don't know. Oh, this guy's looking for a, looking for a good time, I guess, I don't know. Oh, oh, sorry, buddy. These guys ain't scared. Burr, burr. That is the Bicentennial Tower at the public dock. I think you can pay money to go up an elevator and peek out. I'm not sure if you can take the stairs for free or not. I don't get down this way very much anymore. Uh, there's, yeah, no way to get through, though. We're going to not go to the public dock today. Yeah, the developers are all about these uh, hotels, which is kind of silly. They had built one over there that looks like a ship if you're up on the tower, and then they built another one in front of it so that now you can't see the silhouette and ruin the whole thing kind of foolish if in my opinion anyway those look like police rescue boats oh hold on we need to capture this bike lane here we go oops I just broke that stick Sorry about that stick. Oh man. People on bikes always ruining stuff. Hey, you got a hammer? I accidentally broke this. Here's our little bike lane. I bet, it's my, I bet my bars are about as wide as that. Those are Surly Sunrise bars, by the way. And I, I took three inches off the total, inch and a half per side. Just in case you was wondering. You was a work construction. I wonder what they're digging up. Oh, there's a detour. Okay, I'm gonna take it. Is it for me? Is this the bike lane? So, I don't know, I haven't been down here since they changed this around. There's also a path over there. There's all kinds of constructing going on down here. Not all the boats are in the water yet. It's still, what is it, April 18th today, I think. Hello, Robin.
Whoa. We did the beach bike filming right there. Remember that? I'll link to that video down below too. This is Presque Isle Bay. I've shown that many times on the other side is Presque Isle State Park. That's a 13 mile loop that connects to the city down in Mill Creek, which is the suburb to the west down there. Ah, fishing. They have weddings. This is often covered here. There's a fancy hotel here. There's also one of those edgeless pools, I believe it's called. Yeah, right under that tarp. Again, it's still pretty early spring. You know, it's not uncommon for it to be cold here still. Sunday mornings, people were often out eating breakfast when we would go on Sunday slow roll and come through here. This Pier 6 over here, there's a rooftop bar. Like I said, here he's a drinking town, so that's where that goes on. But we do have that bike uh, locky thing there. The one that looked like a fish, hope I caught it in time. Those guys. The brick buildings just to the other side of the water there is the Erie Waterworks. And across the street from that, pause for the red winged blackbird, they're the real sign of spring here. There's another. Hi, friend. Thank you for that. Oh. So, uh, yeah, across the street from the Wazalooski. Oh, what the heck is it? So across the street from the brick building, the waterworks is the pump house. And inside of there, I showed one time very early on. And it is a, a giant steam driven pump. The guy I work for uh, has been in there and seen it. Apparently we tried to get it going because I work for steam fitters. So it's a good old fashioned hole digging. Oh, yeah, cool. All right, they're making improvements to this whole Bayfront Parkway thing. And they're putting in a roundabout somewhere and oh, bikeways. And my friend, uh, my friend Mark, who is a former Erieite living overseas now, had written about this because he's a, he's a guy that designs that stuff. So nod to my friend Mark there. And you've been up above many times before that, up above on the Bayfront Promenade. And there's a path that goes up along there. We'll just cut right through here. Bloop. So there's the sidewalk or the bike path there. But it also, I don't know, I learned to go this way so that we could cover all of the waterfront and go down all the little docks and spend as much time on the water and less time in the parking lots. There used to be some weird little like rickety boat shacks along here where you'd lift your boat out of water and leave it inside this like elevated shed in the winter. They were real weird and I think the city made them take them all down. You know, when they were imp making their improvements. Improvements. There's a little bit of a uh, bicycle infrastructure. This must be the bike lane right here. I'm sorry if the camera's making you seasick. The Erie sign is just up there on the hilltop. Uh, you can kind of see it. We're catching the edge side of it though. Plus it's backwards from down here. There you go, there it is. Stop. 
Where does this bike lane go to? Ah! But it's nice that things are starting to turn green and, well, brown or red or whatever color those buds are. And you're looking right into the sun, so that probably looks like crap. And now the question is, is do we take Cascade Street straight up from here and cut through the city to get home? Well, we're gonna go get an ice cream first. Or do I go from Frontier Park, Frontier Park, because that'll take us up to the ice cream parlor. I don't think it's a parlor though. I think it's just an ice cream shop. Okay. This is some other drinking spot because again, if you've got a boat, in your, if you're in Erie, you want to be on the water, and if you're on the water, you want to do some drinking. I'm telling you, that's what we do here. Anybody, and I'm not even saying that because I'm like a dry drunk or anything. I'm just telling you, that's what people do in Erie. The people that I know. Bike rack. I bet if I asked those guys if they had beers, I bet they got beers. What's this, Liberty Park, I believe? Must be at the foot of Liberty Street. I used to take my kid to play on that playground when she was wee. Please note that I'm being very cautious of the plants. I mispronounced that on purpose. They do a thing here in Erie called Eight Great Tuesdays where they, I think, well, it must be for, uh, eight Tuesdays over the summer they have some kind of bands down here and they set up on the amphitheater over there oh hey now it could be a nice time to take a wi oh they're all locked we're not moving them we're just locking them oh that one now how you doing great how are you good, good. how's it going did you, did you try the echo yet no? Okay. See you next time. This road is closed. Can we get around? No. <clears throat> we did more of the beach bike filming here on the other, the back side of this. Hmm. We'll go out onto that or on the other side. Nobody's going to watch this. I don't care. Wonder if those are open. They oh yeah, they lock the uh, they lock the porta potties because drugs. Drug, drugs is a problem in Erie, just like it is anywhere else. I know several people that have overdosed and died. Um, I don't know what to do about it. I don't think anybody does. It's probably that's probably a big part of the problem. Never got into that sort of thing, thank God. Hey, mister, how are you? Good. Usually in the summertime, these uh, sidewalks are covered in goose poop. Another big fish bike rack. There's somebody looking at me, looking at them. That one's underwater. Across the street there, you, if you could see the railing, that is the part of the path that takes you up into the back end of the city. We filmed, oh, something about the mule up there back when I had the mule. Everybody's out getting their boats ready. Well, not everybody. Hi, how are you? Hiya. I think I'm gonna get off the path and go get some of this boat thing. Holy smokes, look at that thing. Wow. It's a 
good old fashioned boat picker upper. Well, that's cool. That guy's got a beer. <laughs> I told you. All right, I'm ready for ice cream. Let's cut to the other side. Down there was the hissing goose as you go under that thing. These are some kind of fancy apartments that I don't really know about and I don't know anybody that lives in them. They look nice. It would be nice to live on the water. It's nice to get down here. I don't get down here much anymore. When I decided that I was going to use my bike as my primary vehicle, I used it less and less for joy and fooling around because that always meant everybody that I know want to they want to go ride bikes and then go get beers and you know when you give up beers then you kind of go well I don't know also keep in mind this is a dangerous area and you must use caution we do not have a flat, we just need to shift. Ooh. Friction feels totally different. I know it's just how you change the gears, but the whole thing feels different. And this is my favorite part of the path right here. Look at everybody down there fishing. I quit, you know? Cool. This is my favorite part because of the pine trees. I wonder if the trout are running up this little stream. I don't know. All right, friends, we're just heading down into the uh, Frontier Park now. This is kind of backwards of how we've gone before when we did the coffee outside. That little creek we were running along is, runs through there. Uh, let's go up here, I guess. Hello, friction. Oh man, look at that. It's not a big hill and this really isn't necessary, but The Erie Sunday slow roll meets at the top of this little hill at the uh, the bike racks and we might as well check the uh, repair stand, the public repair stand that's up here. This really great tree that's all spread down around there. They host the Blues and Jazz Festival in the summer and we'll look at the big slides that are up here too. We'll ring our bell at these nice people, this little guy. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi, how are you? Good. Art. There's Spike Repair Stand. Make sure it's working. Okay. That well, looks like that could probably get replaced. Okay. Hi. We'll take this little descent down here and cut across the park. And then I'm going to hang up until we get to the ice cream. Also sled riding, you can sled ride down through there. Sorry about the whipping the camera around. Ooh. I like to steer with my right hand, not my left. Take this little gravel trail. We'll pull that old joke again. Look, I'm a gravel cyclist. Whatever that is, it's pretty. What's that? You know? Tell me in the comments below. Pretty. 
several foot bridges in this nice park, rather nice, than this cool thing. Somewhere I took a video where I had the camera sitting up there. I never published that video. At any rate, there's free socks. Where we want to go is right up there. So we're, we're at Maria's. Uh, and he, here's the scoop. And this is the choices for hard ice cream. This is uh, yogurt. Soft service crap. Sorry. Uh, I'll go Superman and Blue Moon. One scoop okay. of each. And, and a cone. Do you have a sugar cone or a waffle? I have both. Okay. I'll have a, a, the big waffle, waffle. cone. Okay. Please. Hey, are you going to take my credit card? Yes, that's oh, Okay, great. Here you go. Oh, man. Look at that. Thank you. I don't, I'm guessing the blue one is Blue Moon and the other one is um, Superman. Here, maybe this will be the cover. Yeah, at any rate, I'm Josh Gone. This is Erie Bicycle. Thanks for coming on my half-assed tour of the Erie Bayfront bicycle. The cops are across the street looking at us. Thanks so much for coming. Please come back again. I appreciate you. Oh, yeah, that's okay. I'll tell you other stuff later. Oop. Oh.